people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another fantastic FNAF news video. In today's video, we got the release date for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie on DVD and Blu-ray. The Joy of Creation Ignited Collection just got some crazy behind the scenes, though it does come at a cost. And YouTube's just revealed their brand new Ruin figures, and it might be some of their best products yet. So we got that and a whole bunch more to take a look at in today's FNAF news video. If you are excited, scroll down, subscribe to the channel. Doing so is the best way to stay up to date with everything going on with FNAF, especially when we got a brand new FNAF game right around the corner. If you missed my video, we did get a brand new gameplay trailer for Help Wanted 2, which comes out on December 14th. It features my boy DJ Music Man. I've got another video covering Help Wanted 2 news very soon. But in today's video, let's kick it off by taking a look at, of course, some brand new t-shirts from Hot Topic. Since we last spoke, this is all the brand new merchandise coming out from Hot Topic. As you can see, we got a t-shirt featuring Dark Springtrap, a Foxy t-shirt, a Molten Freddy t-shirt, shirt, the Glamrock animatronic Circus Baby, the classic FNAF 1 animatronics, a backpack and wallet featuring chibi versions of the Glamrock animatronics, a blanket that looks like a pizza, some very interesting looking Freddy Fazbear slippers, a brand new lanyard and badge featuring the Glamrock animatronics, as well as a twisted foxy pin. We also got this brand new t-shirt featuring Glitch Trap, of course from FNAF Help Wanted, this art was made by Turntail, an official FNAF artist, it is of course always a good day when we see brand new merch featuring Turntail's art, and speaking of merch, that features art by Turntail. Hex showed off a brand new video of their glow-in-the-dark Shadow Bonnie hoodie. I'm absolutely amazed by how well this looks. There's so many little Easter egg for FNAF fans to spot. The arcade machine from FNAF 3, the clocks going from 12 to 6, the Shadow Bonnie paper plate pal RWQSFSAXXC. I think I said that right going down the sleeve. And it also looks insanely well when it glows in the dark, so I'm very much looking forward to this. A Shadow Bonnie plushie by Hex is also apparently releasing around the same time as this hoodie so let's stay on the lookout for that. Moving on now to Funko, we got the full common lineup for their Ruin Wave of figures, plushies, and pop figures releasing mid-2024. For action figures, we can expect to see Ruined Glamrock Chica, Ruined Roxanne Wolf, The Eclipse. For plushies, we've got Ruined Sun, Ruined Moon, and for pop figures, we of course have Ruined Chica, Ruined Roxy, and Eclipse yet again. So what's fascinating about this lineup is you may have noticed we're missing the Mimic, the Mexus Entity, Glamrock Freddy, Ruined Monty, a lot of very important Ruined characters are not on this lineup. So quite frankly, it's a little disappointing what we're getting here. Hopefully, maybe we can get some retail exclusives from GameStop and Hot Topic of those characters that we're missing. But I'd love to know, what are your thoughts on this lineup for Ruined products from Funko? Are you disappointed? What characters were you hoping to see? What characters would you like to see in the future? Again, if they do retail exclusives. Moving on now to YouTube's, they just put out some brand new FNAF plushies. The wave includes a a sitting Bonnie plushie, a sitting Chica plushie, a sitting Foxy plushie, a one foot tall cupcake plushie, as well as a Freddy Flop shoulder rider. And then they also put out this teaser the other day for all of their ruined characters. As you can see, Monty, Roxy, the Eclipse, Mimic, and the Mexus Entity. And yesterday we got a proper look at all of the figures included in the wave. First up, of course, we have Ruined Roxanne, the Eclipse, Ruined Monty, the Mexus Entity, as well as the Mimic. We also got revealed to us a brand new FNAF print featuring the withered animatronics as well as the puppet. So that print and all of the ruined figures are going to be releasing on the 28th of November in just under one week's time. Now you may be wondering, where is ruined Chica? Because we do know that she was going to be in the lineup, but as I just showed you guys, she is nowhere to be found. Well, this was the last look we got at the ruined Chica figure, and most FNAF fans were not happy with how it looked. And because of all the feedback they were getting, Austin Long, the CEO of the YouTube's company, actually responded to all the backlash and said, we'll be redesigning ruined Ruin Chica and scrapping the teased version. This means Ruin Chica will drop at a later date and not with the upcoming Ruined Wave. So as unfortunate as it is that the entire Ruin Wave is technically not available at launch, I am of course extremely grateful for you two's listening to the feedback, redesigning their figures. It really just goes to show where their mindset is at. It's not just, oh let's pump out these figures. No, they want to make good looking figures that the fans really, really love. Also, if your bank account is not drained just yet from the Ruined figures, keep an eye out for the Ruined plushies. These guys are absolutely adorable. As you can see, the lineup so far features the AR version of Ruined Roxy, Glamrock Bonnie, Helpy, and Eclipse. We've also seen a wet floorbot plushie in the past. I'm assuming he's also going to be in the Ruined Wave of plushies. And like I said at the start of this video, these figures and these plushies look absolutely fantastic. I wholeheartedly believe these are some of the best looking products we've gotten from U2s. I know my wallet's gonna be crying after purchasing all these figures and plushies. I'd love to know, are you gonna be picking up any products as well? We also got a new 
new look at their upcoming Glitch Trap and Grim Foxy figures, part of the Help Wanted wave. The rest of the wave is going to include Shadow Mangle, as well as Dreadbear, and it's planned to release around December, the same time as Help Wanted 2, according to U2s. And lastly, for U2s, we've got Daco's brand new figure, Puppet Daco, also releasing on the 28th of November. Moving on now to the Fanverse section, we got brand new T-Jock news for the Ignited Collection. First up, we have the news that probably everyone's been waiting for the most, Bonnie's punching jump scare. And thankfully, we have to wait no longer, because the other day Nixon put out this tweet showing off the final version of Bonnie's jump scare, and it looks, oh, just as beautiful as ever. We also got a look at Ignited Bonnie's brand new updated redesign, and honestly, I think this looks badass. I know a lot of people were skeptical of the Ignited characters receiving a more organic design. I'd still love to know what are your thoughts. We did get a look at Ignited Foxy's redesign not too, too long ago, but his bottom jaw just being a straight up skull is so, so menacing. I cannot wait to see the full designs these characters. We also got a brand new animation of our character in the office level, this time repairing a fuse. That is one of the major changes for the Ignited Collection. The office level is that the entire place seems to run on power now, and in certain parts of the night, it seems like our power will go out. We'll have to find brand new fuses to repair them. And lastly, for updated designs, we got this look at the brand new cupcake. Seems like there's going to be three versions of the cupcake. You can see the differences here. But that was the good T-Jock news. Unfortunately, we do have some bad news, though. The other day, Nixon went to Twitter to write, I feel really bad for saying this, but I haven't been in the best place mentally lately. I don't think I will be able to deliver the demo by the end of the year. Back in August, Nixon announced that the office level for T-Jock Ignited Collection would receive a demo publicly by the end of the year, though unfortunately, as we can see, that is no longer going to be happening. It is for a very valid reason. Mental health is no joke. Of course, I want Nixon to focus on that way before any video game. I bet it would mean the world to Nixon if you guys watching this video would go to his Twitter, leave some positive replies on his posts. Moving on now to news that that was completely unexpected. We got a brand new version of Help Wanted 1 being released exclusively for PlayStation 5. It's titled Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted, the full-time edition. This new edition includes all content from the original Help Wanted, plus the Halloween DLC Curse of Dreadbear, giving you over 50 scary fun minigames in one terrifying package for only 30 bucks. And there is a $10 upgrade available for users on the PlayStation 4, but this was just super unexpected. I mean, it's pretty welcomed. Though it does seem like the the only changes made are just graphic improvements. Doesn't seem like there's any new content, any new teasers for Help Wanted 2. I'm personally most excited for this brand new banner we got for the game. I mean, those colors are so satisfying. Yeah, I'd love to know, any PS5 or PlayStation VR 2 users, are you going to be picking up the full-time edition of Help Wanted? And speaking of Help Wanted, again, if you saw my video the other day, you'll know that Help Wanted 2 is coming out on the 14th of December for PlayStation VR 2. Though a lot of people, including myself in that video, were very confused. Where is the PC release? Thankfully, Steel Wool Studios did clarify on Twitter that PC and PlayStation VR 2 will be released on the same day, again, the 14th of December, which I'm very thankful for. I don't have to dish out a thousand dollars to get a PlayStation 5 and a PlayStation VR 2. Though, if you do care, as we touched upon in that last video talking about Help Wanted 2, there is an exclusive minigame to the PlayStation VR 2 with Mystic Hippo and her mind-reading, eye-tracking minigame. I don't know, it seems pretty awesome. And finally, let's wrap this FNAF news video up with some FNAF movie news. First up, we got the prologue in the first chapter of Four Five Nights at Freddy's, the official movie novel. The full book releases on the 26th of December. Seems like a perfect Christmas gift for any FNAF fan. The Previews like 20 pages, so I'm not going to cover it in this video, but if you do want to give it a read, it's linked down below. It gives some pretty interesting new details, including the official name for that first Freddy security guard we see at the start of the film, and surprise, it's not Fritz. Next up, we have the official release dates for the FNAF movie, not only on digital, but also on physical home release. First up, on the digital release, the FNAF movie releases on the 28th of November, very soon, online on platforms such as Amazon Prime Video and YouTube Movies and TV, and for home Home releases, the FNAF movie comes out on 4K Ultra HD, Blu-ray, and DVD on the 12th of December. There is a bonus Night Shift edition that comes with bonus content such as deleted scenes, behind the scenes, commentary. It even features those set vlogs we got from Daco, Raz, Baz, and Ryan. But that's gonna do it for today's FNAF news video. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on everything we covered, the FNAF movie, the T-Jock delay, the brand new YouTubes and Funko products. And like I said, a brand new Help Wanted 2 video is on the way explaining all the mini games, everything we know so far about the title. So stay on the lookout for that, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.